The history of Birmingham City Police and also the other West Midlands forces is really significant in terms of development and making advances in policing, new techniques, new technology. Uh, we've got one of the biggest prisoner photograph collections in the UK, probably the oldest prisoner photographs in the country, if not the world. The collection fills a gap in Birmingham's material culture, so it's really important that it's preserved first and foremost. The collection's incredible. This is absolutely amazing collection. The old radios, you've got the old uh, handcuffs, books and collections of uniforms and other artefacts that show the great history of policing in the West Midlands. The collection brings together very rare artefacts in many cases and photographs, court cases, accounts and so much more. So it's important for Birmingham, for the West Midlands, but also for understanding policing nationally and it's also important as a major social history resource. And it's really important as we police now and as we look to the future that we cherish and value those who have gone before us, that we bring those stories to life. In 2015 it was announced that Spark Hill Police Station was due to be sold by West Midlands Police so since then we have been looking for a new home for the museum and it just so happened that we had an old custody block right in the city centre in Birmingham on Steelhouse Lane in the former lockup. It's a great opportunity to take what is an amazing, unique, really interesting and exciting collection to a brand new location. Moving the police museum to the lockup at Stillhouse Lane is the perfect choice. By putting the museum in a central location, it just guarantees that more people will visit, more people will walk past. It's all about word of mouth, it's what you see. So to have this collection housed in a historic setting like the lockup at Steelhouse Lane is thrilling because that building is infused with the history of policing and of criminality. And again, it touches the past. The lockup is a wonderful opportunity for us to engage with the public in all sorts of ways, and particularly looking at the history of the police and to really showcase the, the work that we're doing now, as well as what happened in the past. Well, look at this place. I mean, it's a, it's a place where it hasn't changed in 150 years. Just imagine all the people who've been in here, thousands and thousands of people. It's full of stories, this place. We have so much to offer for many, many different reasons. So people with an interest in history will want to come and see the building's history. Students who are working on forensics or policing and criminology, they can come and enhance their learning. Kids can come and see what it's really like. They can feel things, they can see in the cells. And they can see how prisoners have, have lived for the short periods of time that they stayed here. Young people are the future of our society, so giving young people through education an insight into how policing has evolved and how policing contributes to the well-being of our society. This is a great opportunity for people to come and build relationships with West Midlands Police. So what we have to do now is get behind them as a city, as the West Midlands, and, and support this project and make sure that it actually happens.